Hello everyone, welcome back to Maelstrom Gaming. My name is Malkit Gardner. Today I'm going to be unboxing uh, Adventure Tactics Adventures in Alchemy, the first big box expansion for Adventure Tactics. So this just came in the mail, delivered from the Kickstarter here, so I'm very excited to open this up. Uh, we see here that it's going to have a new Act 2 hard mode, uh, new potential endings, new enemies, new elite classes, new ally decks, and new type of initiative. Uh, but this game does require Adventure Tactics, Damien's Tower to play. You can incorporate all the content from Hero Pack 1 as well. So that's very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and read this little flavor text here. So we have five new paths in Adventure Tactics Adventures in Alchemy. Journey along a new path to the treacherous Tower of Greylock in the Adventure Tactics Adventures in Alchemy expansion. Leading the way is a new, is a new hero, Lane the Alchemist. This expansion also introduces a brand new campaign that leads you through a new path to the gates of the Tower of Greylock. This campaign introduces an entirely new branching Act 1, as well as a hard mode version of Act 2, with all new potential endings. This campaign will see you through the first five levels of your heroic journey, and when completed, you can continue your adventure by diving directly into Act 2 of Damien's Tower, with the addition of new enemies, new elite classes, a new type of initiative, and non-player controlled allies. Your journey to the tower will never be the same. This game requires adventure tactics, Damien's Tower to play. You can incorporate all the contents from Hero Pack 1 as well. Okay, so it sounds very interesting. Uh, very excited to see what we get in here. So let's take off this wrap here and open it up. So let's go ahead and lift up the lid and uh, see what we get. So uh, we get the expansion rulebook, uh, which is uh, very small, very short, as you can see here. Uh, we have all the components here, and so we have some new gameplay elements. We've got the alchemist here, uh, we have elixirs, player generated obstacles, an ally deck, and new types of initiative, events, and static initiative variant. Uh, many people have expressed complaints about um, the initiative in the game being random, and so this is a way of making it so that you can, you know, have a predictable initiative order that doesn't change. Uh, which some people might like. We have our new classes here. So we have the Alchemist, the Oracle, which is just an upgrade of an Alchemist. We have the Druid, which is a Cleric, Fighter, and Rogue. The Mimic, which is a Fighter, Archer, and Wizard. And the Lancer, which is a Fighter with Rogue. And then, uh, that was all the classes there. So, um, just four, five classes there. Uh, so yeah, it's very interesting there. Okay, so then we have the campaign guide, which has all of our different uh, scenario stuff here. So we have the Act 1, Child of Destiny, uh, which has new enemies that you can play through. Uh, so I'm not going to look too much into this just because of spoilers, but we have all of our different, um, we have all our different encounters and scenarios in this book, just like we did with the base game. Uh, but I think it's very interesting that you have a, um, that's redoing the first half of the campaign. It's kind of interesting. Uh, so I'll have to, again, don't look at that too much, but I will uh, right now on camera for spoiler reasons, but uh, very interested to play that out. We have our new player board uh, for Lane. You know, it's just like the other ones. Uh, very nice, high quality. I love the, the dual layered boards here and everything like that. Uh, very cool. Um, yeah, so very, so that's not too much to look right there. We have our new, uh, pawns here, um, for some of our main bosses and such here. Some of these guys look interesting, uh, punch out pretty easily. I do, uh, yeah, let's find some interesting stuff there. We got more here. This is our, uh, our characters. So this is the alchemist, the lancer, the mimic. Uh, was it the witch or I don't know, uh, but yeah, we have all our different characters here um, So those are pretty cool And then we have all this so uh, this big space in the middle actually I think is probably for the vortex here um, So that's probably gonna yeah, and you can just put all the other tokens in here um, so Let's see we have a new some new poker chips uh, We have one for lane and a one for the event, which um, there are some rules for that inside the uh, expansion rules. I didn't actually read what it was, but something cool there. And they're very nice, high quality. I like them a lot. 
Uh, we have our lane mini. Um, little goblin alchemist here. Uh, very cool. I like that quite a bit with his little potion there and a massive backpack. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then we have some sort of whirlpool, whirlwind type boss here, which looks very uh, menacing. We have our small cards here. So we have Master of Thorns for the Druid, Mick Mastery, Dive Bomber, uh, Poison Toss for Alchemist, Potion Toss. Cool. Bandolier, Divination, Written Stars, some really interesting. Uh, I'm sure there's some interesting cards here. Endless Mimicry, the first basic attack you make on your turn is free. Wow, that's really cool. Uh, Master of Trials, or Trails rather. <laughs> some cool stuff, I am sure. Griffin Heart. Once per encounter, the first time you would be reduced to zero. HP or fewer, set your HP to one. Ooh, that is nice. Very cool. So yeah, very sure cool stuff there. Uh, we have our then we have all just some cards here. Uh, real quick, let's just check under the insert. Nothing under there. Okay. So let's just take a look at these two decks of cards here. Oh, I didn't mention this, but we do have our little tech box, um, just like the other ones in the main scheme. These are pretty nice tech boxes, all things considered. All right, so let's take a look at uh, one of these. Okay, so it looks like here we have a lot of our uh, different action cards. So we have Healing Elixir. Uh, range 0 to 1, target heals 2 health, or 2 white dice, uh, a lot of those. Uh, adrenaline elixir, uh, target may make a basic move or a basic attack. That's very cool, free action, but it's consumed on use. Uh, lots of those. And some explosive elixirs. Um, the lost splash damage there, which is pretty cool. Heavenly Barrier. When the target is declared by an attack, you take one white damage to reduce the damage by one black and blue. That's actually really cool. That yeah, range zero to five. So you can use that for yourself, uh, which is a good trade, but you can also use it for someone else. That's very neat. Uh, Celestial Fury. Petrify. You can stun them. Vine Lash. Vine. A Thorn Shield. Thorn Wall. Absorption. Command Word. Lots of cool stuff here. Ah, and then we have some equipment. So, Maple's Boots. Um, accessory, if you have not taken your turn this round, you are immune to all conditions. Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. Uh, Kalar Staff. Uh, one to three, you can make a basic attack. and then, Or you can heal for th one white there. Yeah, some cool stuff there. Plenty of different uh, things there. Tower Shield. Uh, when equipped, reduce your movement by one, and all adjacent enemies reduce the damage they deal by one. Okay, cool. And when you are damaged, reduce that damage by three white dice. So that looks pretty cool. Griffin Helm uh, can, all, can only be used at the beginning of the round. You may move up or down one in the initiative order. Ooh, that's neat. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, giant backpack. Uh, is the alchemist uh, class feature. So free action, you may search your discard pile or deck for an elixir card and add it to your hand. Shuffle your discard pile into your deck afterwards. Ooh, nice. Like that. The uh, Oracle has the Philosopher's Stone, which says at the beginning of each scenario, remove this card and replace it with any other card from your deck. Interesting. Huh, that's kind of cool. The Mimic has Devour, uh, it's consumable for 2 red. Uh, you heal the, an amount of HP equal to the damage dealt. If this defeats an enemy, increase your maximum HP by 1. I wonder if that lasts for the whole game, like the whole campaign, or just for this one match. I imagine just the match there. Uh, just for the one you know, encounter, rather. But I don't know. Thornwall, summon for the Druid. Uh, you have a Thornwall here, which is summon a Briar. Then place four more priors connected to it, forming a straight line. And the, these four do not be, need to be in range. Have we die for the Lancer? 
Uh, free action, choose a target square within range, end your turn, and remove yourself from the board until the end of the turn, uh, until the end of the round, rather. Uh, at the end of the round, place yourself adjacent to the target square. Anyone in target square takes damage uh, equal to two plus dice plus squares traveled uh, during this movement uh, damage. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, then we have actual class cards. We have the Alchemist. They are rolling like red dice. The Oracle. Um, with a red and a white. The Druid, also red and white. The Mimic, which is just two whites there. The Lancer. And then we're going on to the Allies. Um, so we have uh, these allies here, and I don't actually know how these guys work. So we have uh, I think there's ten of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. and so yeah, we have um, interesting things here where it just tells you that they'll move and attack, move and attack, uh, it moves and uses divination. So that's interesting. Not sure exactly, you know, what's all going to be happening with these. And then we have some bosses. So we have. Lady Airy, um, that's interesting. Well, Bella, the Star Seeker, is uh, one of the, the allies here, but it's also one of the bosses, so that's interesting. Uh, I'm not going to look at these too much, um, we can just look at the art, uh, kind of get a feel of what we're playing. Against, we have the Golems of Fate, which looks very awesome, like those guys. Uh, then we have Kalar, the Earth Touched, who is one of the, the other ally that we have here. Um, so, again, don't know if you have to fight them before getting them as allies or how that works. Chieftain Maple. Uh, yeah, so those are so five bosses there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so five bosses. Um, so that's kind of neat there. Uh, and then we have all of the level up cards. So, Take a quick look through some of these. We've got, you know, alchemists. Um, yeah, so all sorts of different things here uh, for all the different level ups. So plenty of different things. Um, I will say that I'm kind of, I don't know, it seems kind of odd to me that you have a new class, right? So we have the alchemist class. But the only class that has that prerequisite is the Oracle. So the Alchemist is kind of on its own, honestly. Because even the new classes, here we have the Mimic, which just requires Fighter, Wizard, and Archer. So you don't need an Alchemist for that. You don't need an Alchemist for the Druid, because that's Cleric, Fighter, and Rogue. And you definitely don't need um, the Alchemist for the Lancer, because it's a Fighter and just Rogue for that one. So I don't know, it just seems kind of weird that the only classes that have the Alchemist as a prerequisite or would be the Alchemist itself and then the Oracle, which is just a, you know, upgraded Alchemist. So that seems just really weird to me that I kind of was assuming that, you know, some of these other classes would have some alchemy mixed in them, but I eh, guess not. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, but still you have a starter class, so it's a new way of starting out your character. Uh, but since there's not too many characters that actually need the Alchemist, um, you know, as a class prerequisite, uh, you kind of, you know, you're not going to probably stay an Alchemist unless you want to just go Alchemist and then Oracle. I don't know. Well, it's just some first impressions there, just based off of the fact that these three extra classes here don't have anything to do with the Alchemist. So, we will have to see how this actually plays out, and, um, yeah, I will let you all know uh, what I think. Um, you know, after I've had a chance to play it in my review. So, um, as you can see, there is a, you know, a good bit of content here. Well, it's not an overwhelming expansion. Uh, there is some stuff that I do not think I will probably, I don't know if I'll actually be able to fit this back into the core box, which is unfortunate. I like to condense all expansions into the core box, but I don't think that's going to happen uh, with this one, because uh, the, the core game is already very compact, um, and, you know, it's a tight fit. Um, in the core box there, so I don't think you'll be able to add all this to the, the core box itself, but we'll have to experiment around with that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope it was helpful uh, to you and seeing whether or not this seems this expansion seems interesting to you, or maybe want to pick up. 
Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please like it and consider subscribing to Maelstrom Gaming to see more content just like this whenever I upload it. And until next time, happy gaming! Mm -hmm.